Hi, I'm Jeff Benedict, owner of Accomplished Quilting. And I'm pleased to get the opportunity to speak to you about something that matters to a lot of our customers, and that's how do I finance a machine? Because we'd be able to sell more machines if people could finance them, and they can. But there's some things to watch out for out there, so I wanted to offer you uh, what I've learned as I interview people in the lending industry about financing quilting machines. And it's pretty interesting what I found. There's some good ways to do it and there's some bad ways for the consumer. Now I, I found three ways kind of to do it. One is going through a bank, a major financial institution. You think of your national banks um, or state level banks. That's one way to do it. Another way is to go through a credit union. And a, another way is uh, lease rate financing. And there's actually a fourth way that is common if you go to trade shows. Zero down, zero interest for 12 months or two years or three years. You can do it that way too. <clears throat> but let's talk about what do you really get when you do that? Well, for years I've been standing out there on the floor selling machines, talking with people. People go to banks to try to get financing from your major banks. They end up finding out that <clears throat> they really don't want to finance a quilting machine because they don't know much about them, not like they know about cars or homes. So what they uh, want to do is have the person take out a home equity loan. Now that's not a bad way to go. You get probably in this time that we're in right now, probably the best interest rate of any way you could finance. But you do end up having your home held up there as equity in case you default on your loan. Some people don't want to put their home at risk like that. So that would be a reason to avoid a home equity loan it is uh, because the machine isn't your equity on, in the loan. Now, the other way that folks finance machines and that salespeople use out on the show floor at trade shows is the salesperson doesn't want you to walk away without having closed the deal or seized the moment to lock you in to the deal on the quilting machine. So they offer a very attractive zero down, zero interest for 12 months if you buy this machine from me today, right now, sign here. And it's quick approval, they can go into a computer program, quickly let you know that you're approved for your loan. And it seems wonderful. You don't have to take time off during your work week ahead to go to the bank and ask about financing the machine that you just put a deposit on. There's no worry, right? Wrong. What you're going to find out is, as I talk to lenders about this type of financing, is there's some hidden gotchas in there that you don't know about up front. One is, if you're late for any payment during that 12-month period, or two years if it's a two-year zero interest loan, uh, automatically at 29% interest, you pay all the interest back to where you were late on a payment. There's oodles of accounts of super nice, responsible people that went on vacation, forgot to make their payment, made a, a mistake, the, they put it in the mail, but it didn't get there on time. All those kind of things where they ended up not getting uh, losing that 0% zero, zero interest for 12 months. The other thing that played into it, one lender told me, you know, the average single person in America, if you're single, you have about 17 different payments to manage a month. If you're a married couple with a home, you're looking at, on average, as an American, 42 payments. Those can be anything from consumer loans, the home loan, utility bills, um, programs like when you go to the, the uh, home and garden store or the uh, um, home improvement store, programs where you get discounts for participating in their programs as long as you're making the payments on time. Similar to the one that's being offered on the show floor when you're looking to buy your quilting machine at zero down, zero interest for 12 months. The other aspect of it that several lenders shared with me is they deal with people, it's very common, we're all Americans, we all procrastinate because we have all kinds of other things to do that are challenging us for our time so that at the end of the 12 months you owe the remaining balance on that machine or you pay all the interest. 
Well, people come in in the 11th hour, 11th month, with not enough time to process and get a loan in order to make that payment. In fact, the missing the payments part of those kind of financing programs, one of the lenders shared with me, uh, having had a conversation with the president and one of the leading lenders in the nations for those kind of programs, and the president of that company shared with this financial officer that um, slightly over 70% of the people that finance their equipment on zero down, zero interest programs don't make the payments on time. That's because we're all juggling so many balls, it's so hard to make sure you make that one along with the other ones that you may have out there and all the other payments on time. It's a real risky and very, very few people truly end up seeing the benefit of having rushed into that type of program. Now there's a, the third type of program out there is often called lease rate financing. And these are programs where um, my customers give me feedback and so do the lenders that I talk to that um, interest rates depending on credit score of the person can vary between 11 and maybe 14 percent interest and they'll do terms anywhere from two years out to 60 months which is five years and folks go th and join into those programs because they're easy just as easy as the zero down zero interest programs on the trade show floor uh, they can usually get you approved or within one business day simple one page application very easy to do uh, name, address, phone number, email address, and uh, uh, they run your credit score and presto, you're approved for your financing. Downsides to those programs are penalties for having, if you try to pay it off early. You buy your machine, you're successful, lots of work coming in, you don't need the five years, you want to pay it off early, you pay a penalty. So with the lease program, the one of the negative things is just the high interest rate. You know, um, gee, you know, by, by the time you, you pay for the machine, it's a tremendous amount of money for the machine. Uh, very favorable, easy to get into the program, but it's really, really costly. Now, the, the final one I want to talk about that I find and my customers over and over are finding is the best way to finance your machine is to go through a credit union. Credit unions, uh, the lenders I've talked to, about 60% of a credit union's business is financing equipment for people. And who would have thought that? I would have thought it would have been home loans or something like that, but that's really it. You know, from the washer and dryer you need to the, the quilting machine, to the motorcycle or snowmobile, car, that's the things that uh, credit unions finance and they can do it both as a business loan or as a personal loan and all you have to do is go in and state your want what you need to, to begin to process a loan at the current time here we're in uh, March of 2016 uh, the average interest rate on those kind of loans is around seven percent it might be a percent or two more for those with uh, a little bit more of a credit challenge uh, they're very innovative in how to finance machines. Um, like other institutions, they don't know the market as well to get to sell used quilting machines. So if they had to take one back into possession, uh, they do take the machine as the equity for the loan. You don't have to put your home up against it. Uh, but they um, uh, will be creative. For instance, maybe you have a car that you've got $20,000 in and it's paid off. They might give you a new car loan so that you can get the cash and use that cash to buy the quilting machine. So the car becomes the equity if you were to not make your payments. Uh, but unfortunately in this industry most of our customers do make their payments. The quilting industry is full of responsible people. Oh, another nice thing about credit unions is the payments can become really reasonable with the credit union. Now, if you do your five years, 60-month um, uh, type plan, I've found that they'll usually beat the lease rate financing companies by about 
uh, your payment will be about 10% smaller than it would be with one of them. But here's the really cool thing they do. You can uh, get five-year terms with up to a 20-year amortization. Some companies might do up to 15 years. But what that means is <clears throat> for the payments are spread out over 20 years. So you make, a, 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 for five years, you, do, you have an agreement with them over a five-year period what your interest rate's gonna be and what your payment's gonna be. And then at the end of five years, you, they present you with a new contract, and it's based on the market and what's happened with interest rates in the market at the time. It's not like they can hold you hostage, and it's all regulated so that they have to treat you fairly. And, and you get a new uh, agreement for the next five-year period. And over a 20-year amortization, I guess you'd make one, two, three agreements during that time on what your payment would be. But the cool thing is the loan officer expressed to me that on a uh, uh, $18,000, $20,000 loan, you might have a $50 a month payment. Now just think about that. With a credit union, there's no penalties for paying off your loan early. If you could have one of these machines and start generating income with it for $50 or $100 or $150 a month, depending on what you buy, couldn't you make the money with this machine to pay off your loan early? The credit union helps you get this machine in your hands so that you can use your ANOVA to make money. It's a great opportunity to work with a credit union. And it's just one of the ways that we do our work here to try to learn the best way to help our customers, to make it easy for our customers to have a quilting machine, we teach them so they can operate and learn how to use a quilting machine to make money with it or to make the quilts of their dreams with it for their own personal use. If we just are here to make it easy. Wouldn't you want to buy your quilting machine from somebody who goes out of their way to make it easy for you? Give us a call at Accomplished Quilting. Let's talk about financing. If you want to know more about it, ask for Jeff or ask for any of my sales team. And let's get you into the quilting machine and pursuing your dream. Hey, folks, we want you to remember, work with Accomplished Quilting. We'll do our best to keep you out of the red and keep you tickled pink.